All right, so in this video, we're going to do some basic sequential function chart programming, and we're going to talk about, in, in particular, uh, an unbalanced load when you're doing a branch type scenario. Uh, this does happen quite a bit, and there is a reason for that. Now, uh, a couple key things to uh, when you come down here and you start basic from a very beginning of a sequential function chart, you have the ability to, to change to, from normal to uh, initial. Uh, now the initial is going to be where the sequential function chart initially starts from, just like as it would be named. Um, uh, and then also too, you can put in what we're going to do some very simple programming. So we'll just put two seconds for preset in there, and then we'll transition. We'll put that step, right? So we'll put that step, and then what we'll do is we'll say done. Okay, so then that is step through. So as soon as this happens. Uh, as soon as this is active for two milliseconds, or, or two seconds, right? Not two milliseconds, but two seconds. Uh, then it will come down here and initiate the done bit, and that will transition out. Now, let's just go ahead and talk about um, what we wanted to do if, you know, let's just say if we want to have a branch load. Now, um, a lot of times people come in here and they'll do this number, and they'll, they'll come in and put a branch load right here and they'll drag over here and they'll drag right here okay and then they'll come over here and let's just say we want to step through the same thing we'll just say another two mil two seconds and keep this simple and I'm, I'm going to show you how this is an un unbalanced load now when you come down here we'll come in here and say this is step uh, one so step one and we're going to use the done bit so we'll come over here put the done bit in there and this right here in this program or we're going to or in this uh, action or step or transition i'm sorry uh we'll put in that step all right so now we want to branch these things back together <clears throat> now this is where it comes into a point where you would think okay well i could just use this right here or I can come in and just use, maybe let's just say another one and just come over here and branch these two together. And then what we'll do is have this as two seconds as well and put step three in there, just like that. And use the done bit. Make sure you do put in all the information now the bottom of this we're going to have loop back to the initial step okay just like that now i'm going to go ahead and, and verify this and it's going to have an actual unbalanced load okay you see how this down here says the element uh is in a path that is unreachable due to an unbalanced load of, of convergence so what it's trying to say is that over here this natural transition is what you would naturally, which what one would think if they just looked at a sequential function chart and said, okay, I need a step and I need a transition to get out of that step. So essentially I should have a step right here. Well, the problem is, is with a branch, what you're trying to do <clears throat> is you're trying to actually come in and basically say, you're basically saying that um, your step right here right so you you want to come in and, and come in and change this from a uh, step and transition to an actual transition up here so we'll have a transition up here and we'll have a transition up here okay so what needs to happen when you're making a branch is to make the convergence actually I guess uh, balanced and, and properly linear or properly done you need to have this where you come over here and we'll we'll erase this or get rid of this wire right now and we'll put this down here so we'll put the step up here move that right there kind of get it in the center um, then we'll come over here and you can't go from transition to transition so what we can do is you can say over here just like this and do this just like this Come over here, grab this one, and put it right there. And that would be a balanced transition. That would be a balanced decision-making process. Uh, now, 
to explain this just a little bit better, what we can do is we can say step step uh, one or step zero zero is done on this one. And then what we'll say is uh, not step one or step zero. And then we'll say not step zero. So in other words, once the step is done, it will come over to here and then pass back through. The second part of this transition or the second part of this actual uh, branch and decision making process, because if you think about it, this is just a decision making process. These two transitions are saying, okay, so if the statement down below is actually true, then I want to go to the left side. If this, this statement is actually true, I want to go to the right side. Therefore, it is a decision making mechanism. Now, I've kept the programming really, really simple to show you that, but uh, when it comes down to uh, how this works, right, you can easily see that as soon as step one do is done, it's going to come over here and, and transition flow through here. Now, how does this actually fix our unbalanced problem? See, so see right here, it says the transition right here cannot be con or is not connected. So we don't have this transition connected. So now it's given us another issue. However, we've fixed the balance issue because we actually have the adequate functions or steps or the instructions that we're actually supposed to be using in place to make a solid decision within that sequential function chart. Now to fix my problem down here, I'm going to come up here and grab this and associate that back to start. Okay. So we'll come in and verify again and we have no issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow, we're going to go online. I'm going to actually let you see this running. Uh, and that was part of the process is, well, I mean, to see it functioning. So uh, that way you get a better understanding. But when it comes down to it, this, in this decision-making process, right, I'm just trying to show you how to get out of a, a imbalance load and how to do a, an actual transition or a, a, a balanced branch, if you would. Um, and that's and a branch is basically again a decision making process. So uh, when it comes onto it, let's throw it in actual run mode and watch this work. So you can see right here, it decided to go to that path. So it's deciding to go over here. Now and that's because it's not done. So what's happening is it's not actually allowing the step right here, step zero zero zero, to actually time out. Now, um, and that, so therefore what it's doing is taking the right path. It's taking the, the path on the right. Now, in other words, if we were to get this, you know, to transition over here, we would have to change the logic, right? So what we could do is we could say, okay, well, if uh, we could change the timing or we could change this right here to say, okay, if this is accumulated, so we can do, look at the accumulated value, which if you look in the accumulated value right here, you can say the timer. All right, so we'll come over here and basically throw the timer in here, like the time that's left. And we'll say if that is uh, greater than, let's say zero in this case, if that step is greater or that time is greater than zero, it's going to take this path. Now, if it's not done, right, so we need to change this too. So we can go ahead and actually just about copy this and then change it right here. So we'll change this path or this statement and we'll change the function right here to say if it's greater <clears throat> or less than. So uh, we'll say if it, We'll come over here and assemble that and show you that how that path works. So right here, we can see that it's now going to the left side. So it's stepping through and going to the left side. So if we do that, it's actually, is it timing out? It's still not timing out, right? Because we're not looking at that. We're not looking at the timing out feature of that, right? So what we could do is we say, okay, well, we want to we want to wait till this steps out. We want to wait till that step is timed out. Um, now again, these are just default ex examples and and something that I'm showing you to get a balanced convergence. So I'm trying to show you how to make a decision making process and along alongside of that also to 
how to fix an imbalanced load in your sequential function chart when you are using branches. <clears throat> so with that said, hopefully you learned a lot from that video. We'll see you guys on the next one.